the Cambridge Key English Test, Paper 2, Listening. Test number 2. There are five parts to the test, parts 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now, because you mustn't speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About 30. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is 30. So there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What are they going to buy for Pam? Last year we gave Pam a book for her birthday. Should we buy her another one this year? I think we should give her a plant or some chocolates. But she doesn't like sweet things. Let's get her something to put in her garden, but not a book again. Now listen again. Last year we gave Pam a book for her birthday. Should we buy her another one this year? I think we should give her a plant or some chocolates. But she doesn't like sweet things. Let's get her something to put in her garden, but not a book again. Two. When is the man's appointment? Good morning. I'd like someone to cut my hair, please. Can I make an appointment? Certainly. Um, Wednesday or Thursday morning or Friday afternoon? On Friday, I'm going to go to France. What about Thursday afternoon? I'm afraid I have a meeting all day Wednesday. Well, it's a little difficult, but if that's the only afternoon you can come, we'll see you then. Now listen again. Good morning. I'd like someone to cut my hair, please. Can I make an appointment? Certainly. Um, Wednesday or Thursday morning or Friday afternoon? On Friday, I'm going to go to France. What about Thursday afternoon? I'm afraid I have a meeting all day Wednesday. Well, it's a little difficult. But if that's the only afternoon you can come, we'll see you then. Three. Which is the aunt's postcard? Look, Sandra, I got this really nice postcard from my aunt. Oh, what a pretty village. And it's right by a river. Is it in the mountains? Yes. But you can't see them in the picture. Hmm. Perhaps they're behind those tall trees. Now listen again. Look, Sandra, I got this really nice postcard from my aunt. Oh, what a pretty village. And it's right by a river. Is it in the mountains? Yes, but you can't see them in the picture. Hmm. Perhaps they're behind those tall trees. Four. What time will the plane to Milan leave? Excuse me, what time is the next plane to Milan? It should leave at quarter past seven, but it's an hour late today. 
Oh, that's a problem. If it doesn't leave until quarter past eight, I'll be one hour late for my meeting. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. Now listen again. Excuse me, what time is the next plane to Milan? It should leave at quarter past seven, but it's an hour late today. Oh, that's a problem. If it doesn't leave until quarter past eight, I'll be one hour late for my meeting. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. Five. What does Joe's father do? What's your father's job, Joe? He was a pilot, but now he's a farmer. What about your father? He's a photographer. Oh, I want to do that. If I don't become a pilot... Now listen again. What's your father's job, Joe? He was a pilot, but now he's a farmer. What about your father? He's a photographer. Oh, I want to do that. If I don't become a pilot... This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Sarah and Matthew talking about the people they met at a party. What do they say about each person? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Did you like the party, Sarah? Yes, Matthew. I met a lot of people. Did you see Jenny, the girl with the short blonde hair? I think so. Was she talking to John at the beginning of the evening? Yes. I tried to speak to him later, but he didn't say much. He's OK. He just prefers not to talk a lot. Who was the girl who arrived late? She was very friendly. She knew everyone. That was Mary. She's certainly not quiet. <laughs> I know her brother, Bob. He was there too. He's still at school, isn't he? Yes. Everyone was a lot older than him, but he didn't mind. Another person I liked was David. Is he rather short? <laughs> not at all. He was taller than everybody there. <laughs> Who else did you meet? Sally. She's travelled all over the world and knows a lot of famous people. Everything she said was interesting. It was a good party. Now listen again. Did you like the party, Sarah? Yes, Matthew. I met a lot of people. Did you see Jenny, the girl with the short blonde hair? I think so. Was she talking to John at the beginning of the evening? Yes. I tried to speak to him later, but he didn't say much. He's OK. He just prefers not to talk a lot. Who was the girl who arrived late? She was very friendly. She knew everyone. That was Mary. She's certainly not quiet. <laughs> I know her brother, Bob. He was there too. He's still at school, isn't he? Yes. Everyone was a lot older than him, but he didn't mind. Another person I liked was David. Is he rather short? <laughs> Not at all. He was taller than everybody there. <laughs> Who else did you meet? Sally. She's travelled all over the world and knows a lot of famous people. Everything she said was interesting. It was a good party. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three.
Listen to Anne asking her friend about going to a shopping centre. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Anne, have you been to that new shopping centre? The Forest Centre? No, I mean Queen's, the new one near the river. Oh, I've seen the advertisement. It's got the largest cafe and bookshop in the country. It will have. Only the clothes shops are open this month. Well, that's OK. But it's at least 30 kilometres away and I haven't got a car. Well, there is a coach once a week. Is there? I can get that if it's not on Saturday. I have to work then. It goes on Tuesday. But it's best to get your ticket on Monday. Is the ticket expensive? £10.80 for adults, £2.50 for children and only £5.60 for students like you. Not bad. Does it go from the bus station? Yes, and it stops in Market Square and outside the museum in Broad Street. Oh, good. I'll get it there. Broad Street is really near my house. Does it leave early? 20 past nine. And you get to the shopping centre 40 minutes later at 10 o'clock. Great! Now listen again. Anne, have you been to that new shopping centre? The Forest Centre? No, I mean Queen's. The new one near the river. Oh, I've seen the advertisement. It's got the largest cafe and bookshop in the country. It will have. Only the clothes shops are open this month. Well, that's OK. But it's at least 30 kilometres away and I haven't got a car. Well, there is a coach once a week. Is there? I can get that if it's not on Saturday. I have to work then. It goes on Tuesday. But it's best to get your ticket on Monday. Is the ticket expensive? £10.80 for adults, £2.50 for children and only £5.60 for students like you. Not bad. Does it go from the bus station? Yes, and it stops in Market Square and outside the museum in Broad Street. Oh, good. I'll get it there. Broad Street is really near my house. Does it leave early? 20 past nine. And you get to the shopping centre 40 minutes later at 10 o'clock. Great. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a telephone conversation about a journey to New York. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning. John Locke Travel Service. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to go to the United States, to New York. Certainly. Could I have your name, please, sir? Brearley. That's B-R-I-E-R-L-E-Y. Thank you. Now, when would you like to travel, Mr Brearley? I have to be in New York on the 11th of December, so I'd like to leave on the 9th. Can you do that? Certainly, sir. And when do you want to return? Three and a half months later, on the 30th of March. I must be back here in April. OK. One moment, Mr Brearley. I can book that for you now. Oh, good. How much will it cost? £365. That's a special price for business travellers. 
That's fine. Will you drive your car to the airport or go by taxi? I'll take the train. Can you get me a ticket for that too? Yes, of course, sir. Can you give me your credit card number? Now listen again. Good morning. John Lock Travel Service. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to go to the United States, to New York. Certainly. Could I have your name, please, sir? Brearley. That's B R I E R L E Y. Thank you. Now, when would you like to travel, Mr. Brearley? I have to be in New York on the 11th of December, so I'd like to leave on the 9th. Can you do that? Certainly, sir. And when do you want to return? Three and a half months later, on the 30th of March. I must be back here in April. OK. One moment, Mr. Brearley. I can book that for you now. Oh, good. How much will it cost? £365. That's a special price for business travellers. That's fine. Will you drive your car to the airport or go by taxi? I'll take the train. Can you get me a ticket for that too? Yes, of course, sir. Can you give me your credit card number? This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear Susanna leaving a phone message for her mother. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Hi, Mum. This is Susanna. I know you're going shopping this afternoon. Can you get something for me? I need a white T-shirt for the school tennis match tomorrow. We all have to wear white, and I haven't got one. You can get them in Davies. That's D-A-V-E-Y-S. It's a new shop in the high street. It's not far from the car park. You can go there before you go to the supermarket. You know the cinema? Well, it's next to that. It's easy to find. There are three sizes, small, medium and large. My old one was a small, but I'm a lot bigger now. So could you buy me a large one, please? I hope you can get it. I can't play in the match without it. It's not expensive. It only costs £8.99. I'll give you the money tonight. Thanks a lot, Mum. See you later. Bye. Now listen again. Hi, Mum. This is Susanna. I know you're going shopping this afternoon. Can you get something for me? I need a white T-shirt for the school tennis match tomorrow. We all have to wear white, and I haven't got one. You can get them in Davies. That's D-A-V-E-Y-S. It's a new shop in the high street. It's not far from the car park. You can go there before you go to the supermarket. You know the cinema? Well, it's next to that. It's easy to find. There are three sizes, small, medium and large. My old one was a small, but I'm a lot bigger now. So could you buy me a large one, please? I hope you can get it. I can't play in the match without it. It's not expensive. It only costs £8.99. I'll give you the money tonight. Thanks a lot, Mum. See you later. Bye.
This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. This is the end of the test.